Ooh. Hey, what's up guys? What's going on? It's David here. Today, I thought I would do something a little bit different than what I normally do. As I mentioned before, I'm, I'm getting into this whole world of reselling um, shoes and sneakers, and um, I thought I would bring you guys in on kind of like everything I'm doing. Um, I recently just purchased my very first pair of Yeezys. Um, I've never owned a pair of Yeezys before. Uh, these are for personals, but I would say 99% of everything that I'm currently purchasing is for retail. All right, so uh, the pair of Yeezys that I purchased are the Yeezy 380s. Um, these are one of the newer pairs that came out. Um, everybody's familiar with the 350s, there's the 700s, there's the 500s, yeah, 500s. Um, the 380s are like the next iteration of the 350s. Uh, the Aliens came out last year in November. Now the Mists, uh, the Reflective pair came out a little bit earlier. Um, and now the non-reflective mist colorway came out. And so um, I really like this colorway uh, when I saw it online. So I said, you know what, hey, let me grab my first pair of Yeezys. So um, today we're just gonna be doing a quick unboxing, giving you guys like a first look at everything that's going on. Uh, so right off the bat, on the back of the box or the front of the box, you got the Yeezy Boost 380. Um, on the back, you've got like the style code, you've got the colorway, it's the mist. Um, and that's size 10, I wore size 10, and then you got the made by Adidas because as we all know, Yeezy uh, or Kanye, yay, uh, works with Adidas on the Yeezy line. Uh, on the top of the box, you got the 380 number. Um, and then the way that the box opens up, you've got, uh, or on the back of the box, you also got Yeezy Boost 380 as well, and then made by Adidas. Um, the way that the box opens up, um, it essentially opens up from one direction. Um, it's got this cool like uh, pull tab that you break um, and then essentially you just like pull the shoes out, which is pretty cool. Um, the entire box is, is pretty much made out of recyclable materials, which is also another cool thing. So um, that's also, if you're into the whole environmental vibe, that's what I went to school for. Um, that's what we going, got going on here. Um, nothing too fancy uh, going on with the box itself. Um, it's literally just like normal sort of like um, wrapping paper that you would find in a typical shoe box. So I'm going to go ahead and open these up. Um, so the reason, one another reason why I picked these up was because like, um, I, A, I wanted a very comfortable pair of shoes uh, that I could wear when I'm not training or when I'm at work. Something that looks nice, that's a little bit stylish not too flashy. Um, I went with the Yeezys because I feel like they have a lot of colorways that kind of fit that profile. And that's why I went with this one. I will say though, it does have, uh, oh, let me pull it out first. So this is what the shoe looks like. Um, it is almost a like one piece, I think it's a one piece upper. Um, you have a uh, sewn uh, seam that goes from the front of the shoe. And then you got one on the back of the shoe as well. Um, the interesting thing about this uh, upper is that um, this patch here is like translucent. So um, when you are wearing different socks, those colors will actually peek through on the shoe. Um, with the shoe, you have the uh, round laces. Sorry, I don't know the exact term of these laces, although I should because I've reviewed so many different shoes. Um, but you've got these uh, round laces here, which are pretty dope. Um, these, it's almost like a very light peach colorway or peach color for this, um, uh, this stripe here. And then you also got the same sort of like peach, uh, sort of like tone on the laces. Um, and then with the way that the shoe is constructed, um, the, uh, upper is prime knit from Adidas. Uh, the midsole, this is a full boost midsole. And then, uh, you have a rubber or I would assume EVA. Um, actually, it's not EVA, it's a rubber uh, outsole. Um, and then at the bottom, you've got the boost here. Um, yeah, this is what the shoe is, is essentially kind of looking like. This is um, almost got like a runner style vibe to it. Um, uh, a few, I would say, I think it was last year, I think it was early last year, I reviewed the uh, Adidas Pure Boost trainers. This has that same sort of vibe, I would say, in regards to like the Prime Knit Upper, um, like I said, in terms of like comfort level, to be quite honest, I can't really speak to that, but with the Pure Boost trainers, the fact that it was a, 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 a full boost midsole, I'm gonna assume that that's gonna have the same sort of like comfort feel as these ones. So um, definitely check that out, um, if you that review out if you hadn't seen that. 
Um, but yeah, this is essentially what this shoe looks like. Um, I'm really stoked uh, because like I said, I've never had a pair of Yeezys before. Um, I really like the vibe that's going on here. Um, I, I have had a, a pair of um, Pure Boosts uh, and they are the uh, Uncaged Pure Boosts. Um, and I've actually been using those for running uh, lately. When I pur first purchased those, those were kind of just a little bit more like a lifestyle shoe. Um, and I really enjoy them. They're very, very comfortable uh, as a lifestyle shoe. And even for running, um, man, those things are super duper comfortable. Um, so this is, again, I guess my third pair of Adidas, but first pair of Yeezys. Um, I, again, like I, I, these are really, really dope. I really like them. Uh, the uppers got like some cool sort of like neutral tones to it. It's got some like light browns, some blues, um, also some uh, interesting green colors here. Um, and then the insole, uh, just for what the insole looks like, um, you guys can't really see it here, uh, but uh, it just says Yeezy, and then it's got Adidas, uh, and then you got your insole. Um, it's very thin. I mean, obviously it's not really needed uh, because you have the Boost midsole. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm super stoked uh, on this shoe. I can't wait to rock this. I know right now everything, everybody's in quarantine, um, but uh, I will be flexing on people in my living room. Um, as you guys can see, this is actually my new sort of like living space, which I'm also super stoked on. Uh, so like I said, um, I'm gonna be making a ton of more videos for you guys uh, since I now have my own sort of space. I don't have to worry about other people um, sleeping or whatnot. Uh, I don't share any walls with anybody in this apartment, so I'm super, super stoked. Um, and yeah, guys, that's gonna be it. I know this video was very quick, very short, um, but that is this video. I'm super stoked to have gotten my first pair of Yeezys. Um, I think you can actually still get these shoes um, in a lot of different places. Um, they're, if you go to StockX, you can actually get this shoe for about $3 over retail. So if you are also looking for your first pair of Yeezys and you're looking for a really nice colorway, um, last time I checked, they were going for 233 uh, and that's with shipping. Um, and I paid 250 for these brand new. Um, so uh, you will be getting a, a better deal than I did. Uh, but regardless, if you are looking for a pair of shoes that are really nice, very comfortable, um, I would definitely say um, check these things out. Uh, worst case scenario, um, I'm not sure about stock X, stock X returns because I only do shipping or selling on stock X. Um, but uh, for like Adidas, if you purchase them off Adidas or like Kith or any other sort of like boutique shopping places, um, they do have return policies, so you can always just return them um, and get your money back. So um, that is going to be it for this unboxing of the Yeezy uh, Boost trainer or not easy boost trainer <laughs> i'm stupid uh this is the easy boost uh 380 is that what it's called yeah easy boost 380 the name's right there um that's gonna be it for this review guys let me know what you guys think did you guys purchase the shoe did you like it did you return it um did you sell it uh let me know i want to hear your guys's thoughts uh for most of my audience you guys are mostly um uh, crossfitters uh, so let me know what you, shoes you guys are rocking when you guys are not at the gym do does that even matter for you guys um, I want to hear more about your guys's lifestyle so guys with that um, as always may your barbells be heavy and your coffee be black this is David and I catch you guys in the next video peace